burning the midnight oil again? No. <laughs> hey, Matt. Yeah. Your ride's here. What? Oh, Jesus, I completely forgot. What time is it? <laughs> Guess that's why Maxwell hired you, huh? Hey. As far as I'm concerned, they haven't made the wrong decision. Not yet, anyway. Just you wait. Once you screw up, I'll be there to take your job. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, seriously, James, I'm really happy for you. I mean, this is some big league stuff right here. I don't know. Every time I hear junior board member, all I hear is junior. All I hear is board member. I'm serious. If only one of us could have gotten this gig, I'm glad it's you. Thanks, man. Th don't worry. You'll get out of here soon. Yeah. I just wish we were all as lucky as you. Are you saying luck had something to do with it? No, I'm just saying you're lucky to get out of here. Thanks, man. I'll see you around. Good luck, Junior. You deserve it. Maxwell? Oh, great, just great. Oh, have you met my associate, G uh, Bryce? James, this is Hello, Bryce. how you Bryce. doing, sir? James. Nice to meet you. This is one heck of a place you got here. Yeah, it's sure something else. It's got twice as much office space as our old HQ, and it's completely open to the public. I didn't know that. And yeah, well, they didn't pay for half of it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so we really should get up there. The other guys are waiting. Um, listen, can you give me just one minute? I have something I need to uh, take care of before I get up there. Oh. Okay, just try to hurry. It's a big opportunity. Oh, I know. I know. I'll be just a minute. Just so you know, the elevator's this way up and to two right. Jeez. What are you doing here? Well, you know, Mom and Dad said you got a new job, and, and then I called Matt, and he said you'd be here around 7, so I thought I'd come by. You said you talked to Mom and Dad? Yeah. Well, did you ask them for anything? Yeah, but they wouldn't let me explain why. Why now, Amelia? We've been over this a dozen times. Why now, when I have the meeting of my life upstairs? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Not now. I didn't ask for your help, you know. Good. I just wanted to congratulate you on your new job. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll leave you alone, then. I guess everyone's better off without me around. Listen, don't talk like that. We still love you, it's just... Okay. I'll give you two minutes. If you want my help, this is your last chance to get it, okay? All right. Well, I moved in with Chris. You remember him, right? Well, he got an apartment in Stamford after he stopped dealing. He got a job at the furniture store. I got a job bagging groceries. Um, well, then I met another guy there after work. Um, Pete. He was using, and he asked me... I wasn't using at the time, but... but he knew that I had done that stuff, but, but I didn't anymore. Anyway, he asked if I knew any dealers, and I said no. But I thought about telling him about Chris. I thought we could use the extra money. So I told him that Chris could deal him some stuff. And then I asked Chris, and he said it was okay. But Pete wasn't undercover. Now Chris is doing six months. I can't pay for the apartment bag and groceries. I mean, it's, it's just some, some tough luck, that's all. I, I know I don't deserve any of your help. No. No, you don't. That wasn't 
unlucky. That was just stupid. You shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I can't help you right now. You're just gonna have to bail yourself out of this one. Maybe some tough love is the best thing for you right now. <clears throat> is that how you got this job? Yeah. Yeah, it is. James, I swear to God, I won't bother you again. I won't, I won't see you ever again. Get off of me. I told you. I'm sorry. Jesus, what the hell happened? I don't know. She jumped the balcony and she landed on her head. Oh, God. Listen, I know this is a serious situation, but it looks like she's getting some help, and I'm sorry, we really should get this meeting started. Should we go? James? James? Are you coming? Mm -hmm.